So here I have the dreaded Volkswagen Jetta with the VR6 and we need a valve cover gasket and while we're going to do it, we're going to do a tune up and I'm just going to start this video off by I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm not really torn apart this car before so this is going to be a first and I've looked around the internet and I couldn't find a good video anyway. So if you're here, we're going to get this valve cover gasket done. What I do know is that <clears throat> it's going to be a 10 millimeter and we're going to remove this. They get a battery terminal. And we're going to tuck that away. That's first. That's what we know. Make, I got to get room. Uh, disclaimer, I do have the coolant drain. That's because I had to replace a, a lower radiator hose. So that is mostly drained. I don't know. You know, we'll figure out what's what when we get these hoses done, if I needed to drain further, but let's get started. Uh, one. Hey, wait, these are labeled. No way. Look at that. That is awesome. The only thing Volkswagen 246. All right, cool. So we'll just two, four, six, just four. Giggles. Five, three, and then one. All right, that's pretty cool. That's rare. So now <clears throat> we can get rid of all these. With any any job I like to do, I like to start over here by the airbox. Let's just get rid of the mass airflow sensor. That's there should be screws. This one doesn't have any. There should be a, a little clamp here. This one doesn't have it, so we can go and get rid of this. And you know what? We're gonna be replacing this anyway, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Uh, you don't have to remove this, but I'm going to because I'm going to clean that out when I replace the air filter because they had squirrels. So there's that, that's all done. Okay. Now we just gotta be very, you see that? Okay, so that hose is supposed to be on there, but it's not, so. Oh, look at that. And there's no, there's no clamp for that on the throttle body either. So really all that's just sitting together. So I'm not really worried about tearing anything up here, I guess. Okay. And you know, I could probably just, I can leave that on there. Uh, do have to remove the throttle body usually? I'm gonna assume we still have to on this car. So let's very careful and get this, oh wait. This, okay, so that's not even sitting on... Someone's been in here before. Okay, so this one will have coolant running through it. So there's that hose. Oh, but I'm seeing one more down here. Right there, I hope you can see it. Whole hose is coming with. Oh, okay, right there. Just move that all out of the way, and I think that's it. Now I see some Allen. All right, so an eight millimeter Allen. One, just one hidden underneath here on the bottom left hand corner. One on the top right, right here. Oh, and there's one all the way down here, which you can't see, because I can't see it either.
don't want to drop that one. Okay. There that is. All right. That one's a hidden one. There. Now we got throttle body off. That has seen better days. Here's one, there's a six millimeter. One, I'll leave that alone. Here's one that holds on this upper, upper coolant hose. Okay, I did get it. There we go, all right. Okay, so they're not the same size. So we're gonna have to kind of like set these somewhere where it rebuilds it in the right direction. There's one. Oh man, there's one right here too. That one's that one's gonna be a tough one. So let's get the easy ones done first, you know. I'm gonna have to switch over to one of these. For now. I had the Allen, Allen fittings, but unfortunately they are uh, too big. Jeez, got it though. Jeez, they're all different sizes. No way I'm gonna get this lucky. Whoever was in here before never tightened it down. So I think I could just get my hand in here. I think. Okay, so it is loose. So I just dropped it, but yeah, that was nice. So yeah, whoever was in here before me decided they weren't going to uh, uh, bolt it down. So that was awesome. Good for me. Not good for you because that's probably not your case, but uh, this, I just used a three inch, um, a, a very wide swivel with my 
of my bed. All right. Now, I don't think I'm gonna get as lucky on these two. So we got two more holding on this, the same thing. You guys probably can't see anything, either can I. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut the filming because I need light. And since you're on my head. So this wasn't as bad as what I thought. Um, that one, I just came right out with that setup that I had. And this one, I was actually able to reach my hand over from the passenger side. And now I got it loose and now I'm just doing it by hand because it's just easier. Okay, so to catch up, what I did was I, I did loosen up this hose and just move this up and out of the way. And then um, I'm just gonna lift this to show you. So, now above these two are two more, which again, same setup, very easy to get to. And uh, there's your valve cover. So I'm gonna find something. I'm gonna go ahead and just strap this up because I don't wanna remove any more hoses. The less you have to remove off the car, this car is better. It's not built very well. <clears throat> and it's so old. Okay. So that's pretty much my setup, is that. I'm just getting it up and out of the way. Okay, now we're gonna leave these lines alone because they're fuel related. These are, okay, these just pull right out, I guess. So there's really nothing left of those. Um, looks just like some 10 millimeters. So let's just whip those off. Now, before I take this off, I want to clean it. So uh, why I did that was there's obviously a lot of buildup and then also in the spark plug tubes was full of oil. So I needed to, you know, kill two birds with one stone. I need to clean off the debris and I wanted to blow out some oil, make that go everywhere. <clears throat> okay. There we go, perfect. Oh, and all these bolts are gonna fall out. So I'm gonna take them over to a nice empty area where I can just, and there's the gasket. Oh yeah, it's nice and crunchy. I wanna take a look at the camshaft. I don't see any damage, no deep grooves. Timing chain is nice and tight which is awesome. Okay. I'm gonna get this surface all cleaned up and get back to you. Okay, false alarm on that one. I'm not gonna be replacing that spark plugs at the moment. <clears throat> I didn't like the spark plugs that were sent. Just didn't like them. Jesus. That's in there. I'm hoping they didn't put any kind of sealant in there. I'm hoping. It's either they put some sealant in here or this thing is just so old and uh, 
dry rot it, I guess. I don't know. Well, man, I'm trying to get a good section up. Look at that. It's just breaking apart like glass. Okay, no, so I'm gonna have to just pick away at this and I'll get back to you. Yeah, that's, that's what I came up with, all this. Now I gotta put all the screws back in. Those help hold the gasket on too, by the way, so you'll just push that on there. And see, now, now the screws are held in there. Uh, well, before we go any further, this is the Velpro, Felpro uh, 5064-3R. Or just go down to, into the description. So I'm going to go through it one more time, just, but yeah, look how nice that looks now. Yeah, that looks really good. It's in there nice and flush. It's back rubbery again, so I got the surface all cleaned up. I just want to take one last peek. Good. We're good now. that let that fall make sure all this stuff's out of the way okay done Uh, now we're gonna took uh, torque this all down to it says seven foot pounds. I'm gonna go eight. I know, I know it says seven, but it just seems, you know, seems pretty loose. And most cars out there are eight, so I'm gonna go eight. You can go seven or look it up. I couldn't. I, I I'm just gonna do eight. So. All right. Now once it's all done, make sure you got <clears throat> nice thick gasket wall. Nothing. Everything's perfect right where it should be. Looks great. All right. Ah, here's the fun part. Let's put it all back together where we had it. Let's get started. See, and this line is completely broke off. I just don't know from where. It's not to that T. Huh. Let me go and investigate where this goes. Yeah, it's a hard plastic line that's broke. There was a line around it. All right, let me, let me do some research real quick. All right, so I did find it. Um, so it goes here. Uh, it's a little vent hose that leads back through and it goes back into the back of the intake. And this one goes all the way down to a little box. I don't know what that box does, but I found the other part of the hose. Like all these hoses are out where they should be, but I did find the hose. It's snapped off and down there. So, um, huh. 
I guess I'll try to find it. Try, try to find a new one, I guess. Um, so we know this one goes down further or far like this. Just gotta get all these hoses. And again, you're you're being as careful as you can be. You gotta line that up. There we go, perfect over on this side. And same thing over on perfect over here. Now I know right off the bat this itty bitty one goes on this side. The smallest one you, I, I found is over here on this side. So I know where this one goes. Hopefully you did a better job of labeling. See me, I'm going to, after I put this one in, pause it. And I'm going to go replay the footage and see, you know, which ones went where. That's the joys of filming. You can do that. But you're, you're going to do better than me because you are already going to have them all laid out and labeled. That's what you're going to do. That's your homework for this whole job is to don't do what I just did. So a little trick. I just break off a little bit of duct tape, place it on, and then wrap it just enough to stick. And then I'll just feed it down in there. That's the best way to do it. Um, again, this is not really hard. It's just, I again, I messed up with the hose. So I took that off, put those two bottom hex bits on. I laid the hose back down. And I did the outer two, and now, now I'm only have to do the two upper two on this side. All I can say with that is have a lot of patience. You know, don't rush it. It's not worth it. All right. Ah. Let's get this throttle body back on and try to figure out where everything else goes. Okay, so I just went in between here. this I do believe yes I don't even see a cable up here to go to the ground. Boom, there it is. All right. one went up to there there it is I knew I was missing a hole somewhere I knew I was missing it So really the only, okay, I'm going to reroute that ground over to here because I'm going to just get a whole nother cable for it. Um, but now this guy right here, this is one I'm lost. Totally forgot where it went. So if I put this here, it gets stuffed here. 
Gotta rewatch the video and figure out where that one goes. I'm, I'm stuck. So what I found was this spline goes right into the hole right here because I, I can't see that side. So there's literally just a hole in the side of the hose. Not a very good one. That hose is probably gonna have to be replaced. I know it's just a vent, but still. Okay. As far as that, everything else is done. Throttle body is connected, that's connected, that's connected, that's connected. That's for the other part. This is for the air box. I didn't remove anything down there. Um, Checking everything, which I am good. All right. So, feed that through like that. Pick all those hoses up. Done. It just sits in there. I'm gonna go get the filter and everything. All right, we got the FVP. Not a sponsor, P2472. It's got the nice little felt, nice and clean. Make it breathe a little better. I don't remember why. But we need this mass airflow sensor replaced. I used to know why, I just don't remember. There we go. Goes just like that. The reason I say I don't remember is I diagnosed this like two weeks ago. Just now got it to me, so like I said, I don't remember. Just plastic, so don't don't try to, you know, crank it down there so high, so hard. Okay, yep, that matches. Now, I'll put it on the latches, and then I'll push this down. I'm gonna get this hose put back on the bottom. It snaps on there. That snaps on there. That connector is broke. I hope that doesn't inter interfere with anything because we'd have to Okay, no, it's on there nice and tight. Okay, top of all the other issues that are going on here. Let's clean up my mess. Let's bring the car back to life. There's the 10 millimeter. Okay, done. All right, so that's that. Uh, so now you gotta take it, I, I gotta do a bunch of other stuff. So I can't start this right now cause I gotta refill this back up and I gotta do some housekeeping, you know, putting these back where they need to go. But other than that, um, man, that's a job. It's not, it's not the hardest one, just it is a pain, especially on a vehicle this old where all, everything's plastic on this car and it just breaks so easy. So like I said, I gotta reroute that ground wire and everything. So yeah, I got, I got some more work to do.
Hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.